What's up guys, Jason with Little Guy, Big Reviews. And on this channel, I review household gadgets and sometimes outside gadgets. If this interests you, please hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. Now today on this video, I'm gonna be reviewing water socks. That's it, you heard it, water socks. If you do anything outdoors, fishing, camping, going to the beach, you're gonna to wanna to stick around for this video. Now when you guys put these on, they're gonna feel really loose on your feet, like they might fall off, but they won't. It's really tight up here. Now the cool thing is, is once you step into the water, these things are gonna suck up on your feet like a sponge and get really tight. They're not gonna go anywhere. They're gonna feel really extremely comfortable on your feet. I love wearing these things so far, because again, I don't like to walk around barefoot. So let's get in the water and test these out. I'll tell you one thing, I definitely felt the temperature of the pool once I stepped in and got above my socks to the knee level and the water is actually really cold. But these definitely do help with the temperature of the water if you're in it. So if you're fishing somewhere and you go in the water, you're not gonna feel the coldness like you would if you just went barefoot or even if you wore some shoes or some boots that weren't waterproof. Just a little tip. So we're over here at Oceanside today. They open up the beaches. So we are gonna give these water socks a test I'm the kind of guy that does not like to have sand on his feet. So we're gonna walk in the sand, see if they burn my feet or not, and then we're gonna get these wet. So the beach sand is not really hot today, but I think if you wear these when the sand is hot, it'll definitely help keep your feet cooler than if you're walking barefoot. And they're really comfortable. So we're gonna go ahead and check them out, go in the water here in a minute. All right, we've been on the beach for like three hours now. I'm gonna check out the socks and see if these held up or if my feet are soaking wet. Let's check it out. I'm gonna try and take these off with one hand and see. This is three hours and yep, my feet are already wet. Look at that. Wet feet. Let's check the other foot. Ugh. These are actually a little bit drier, but still wet. So now I need to test out and see what the actual time limit on these is before they seep through. As you can see at the beach, they performed pretty good, except for after three hours, water did seep through. So now what I wanna do is test out and see if we soak them in water, how long will these last before water can get inside? So as you can see, I already have this pre-made rig that I made for something way back when. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this rig right here. We're gonna put this on. I'm gonna grab this string right here, I'm gonna tie it to the top, and then I have this clamp. I'm gonna take this clamp, I'm gonna tie the string around it, and then I'm gonna hang the socks over on this bucket. Once I fill it with some water, I'm gonna put some paper towels inside of it, and then we're gonna come back every hour and test, pull out the paper towels, and then we're gonna see how many hours until it gets wet. Let's get to it. Let's stick these out really quick and see. I'm only gonna check one paper towel right now. All right, one hour and check it out, still dry. So we're gonna put it back and come back in another hour. All right, now while we're waiting on this, this is a perfect time for you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the bell notification and also hit that like button, really help. All right, here's hour number two. Let's go ahead and take a look at these again and see if we have a wet paper towel or not. It still feels dry in here, so let's take a look. Yeah. Awesome, look at that. So hour number two, still dry. So one more hour, and this will definitely tell us if these are gonna seep in at three hours or not. Okay, one quick note right here. You can machine wash these and also put them in a tumble dryer setting, or you can set them outside just like this. Let the sun do its job. It might take about an hour or two depending on the temperature. After that, you're good to go. 
All right, hour number three. This is going to be the moment of truth. Let's pull this out. Look at this. This is awesome. It's still dry. Let's check the other one. I'm feeling this also. Yep. Still dry. That's crazy. So I got to figure out now why at the ocean after three hours, why these were wet inside. So it looks like there's going to be some more testing I have to do. You can see this is the inside and it's completely dry on the inside. And then this one as well. So what I'm thinking is, is I'm going to have to get in the pool and wear these. I have a feeling what the issue was, was at the ocean was that the water seeped over these and actually drip down it after that happening for three hours. I'm thinking that's what caused it to get wet inside. So we're gonna have to test these out in the pool. Let's get to it. So you can see right here, the water is below the top of my sock line. Now, when we went to the beach, I think the water went over, got inside here, and that's why the inside of it got wet. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna step down in here because I know my feet are not wet yet, go in here for a few minutes, get the water above the sock line, and then take them off and see if the water will start coming in through the top and get wet inside. One thing I want to mention really quick is this pool is a pebble pool, which means the pebbles scrape your feet. Some people pretty bad. Um, my kids and my wife wear water shoes. So with wearing these socks on here, it actually helps. Now I don't have to wear the shoes and I'm not scraping my feet at the same time. So if you have a pebble pool and you feel funky with getting your feet scraped, these could be a good benefit to you. Okay, I wasn't even in there maybe 10 minutes and I can tell already that my feet are soaked. Let's take these off. Look at this. Look at my feet. <laughs> I know they're ugly, but they're completely wet. Same thing as this one. Completely wet. If you go over the sock line, the water is going to seep through and come into the sock. If you keep the water below the sock line, I don't think there's a time limit to where the water is going to come inside. I think your feet will stay dry the whole time. Again, unless you go over the sock line. So let's go ahead and wrap this up. So to me personally, there are no cons to these water socks. I don't like to walk around barefoot. So when I go to the beach, I hate the sand on my feet. These worked out wonderful. They're soft on your feet, very comfortable. Also, it helps with the temperature of the water. So for example, if you're fishing and you're wearing these, you're not gonna feel the coldness of the water, which is awesome. And it's also gonna keep your feet dry. Same thing if you'll go do anything outdoors. You can wash them, you can dry them, and they're reusable. As you see, I use these in my pool. There's pebble and they scrape your feet. These definitely help out. The only thing that I did not like is, which I wish I would have said in the directions, that if you do go over the sock line in the water, it will come into it. But if you keep the water under the sock line, your feet are gonna stay dry the whole time you're there within hours. So. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please share this on your favorite social media. Also, click the subscribe button and the bell notification. And also, I will post links in the description for this product as well. And I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.